News Channel 3 and the HN and Francis C. Berger Foundation presented another impact grant to a local nonprofit working to improve lives and help those in need. A $45,000 charitable gift was just awarded to the ABC Recovery Center, which aims to help those with substance abuse disorders achieve lifelong sobriety and re-enter the community as healthy and responsible individuals. It's the oldest program of its kind in the Valley. Since 1963, the nonprofit ABC Recovery Center has provided treatment, housing, education, and support for thousands of people dealing with substance abuse issues. Anybody, if you want help, if you stick your hand out, uh, we're, we're gonna embrace you, you know, and we're gonna bring you in. Um, and we're going to meet you where you're at. You know, you CEO might Chris this, Yingling is just one of, of many of the center's so success stories. Allie Anderson also works there after she says treatment turned her life around. I have almost 16 years sober. Um, I have a 10 year old daughter. I have a family that I never thought that I would have. Um, and I have a whole group of coworkers and family, second family members that I have in my life. But like all recovery centers, the fentanyl crisis has been especially challenging. Yingling says since 2020, they've reversed about 20 fentanyl overdoses at the facility. Here we have a, a social issue that's killing over 100,000 people every single year, um, and it's just not getting the attention um, from the community that it needs in order to uh, be funded and have some drastic measures put in place in order to combat this. The center hopes to create a new computer learning center to enhance its efforts to better train staff and participants about the dangers of fentanyl and other addictions. The price tag, nearly $45,000. And so the HN and Francis C. Berger Foundation and News Channel 3 arrived with a very special surprise. $45,000, thank you. We're so happy to be here with you and thank you for all you're doing in our community and we're so excited to see this commuter lab get built. The impact grant will help the center in the ongoing fight against fentanyl. And we know it's only going to get worse unless we all try to raise awareness as to the problems that we are all experiencing and the families are experiencing. So with everything from trying to identify people that are using to preventing the problem to recovery. It just allows us the freedom to um, really be creative in how uh, we improve our services. Peter Doubt, News Channel 3. And this Sunday at 5 p.m., News Channel 3 will air a combating fentanyl town hall with community leaders, addiction experts, and law enforcement. For more information on that, you can head to KESQ.com.